The Eastern Sierra News, brought to you by the T-Bar Social Club, June Lake's newest gathering place, offering June pie, New York-style pizza, and year-round entertainment with a warm, welcoming atmosphere. See you in the loop. Charles James filed this report for Sierra Wave Media. Have a little time on your hands and are willing to learn something new that might make a real difference in someone's life? Even saving one? Well, you can. The life you might save could be the life of a neighbor, a friend, a mother, father, grandparent, brother, sister, or child. Become an emergency medical technician for your local volunteer fire department. Volunteers of all ages are welcome, including those who are retired. There is an emergency medical technician course being provided by Saracoso Community College, hosted by the Big Pine Volunteer Fire Department, beginning January 2020. This course will teach you how to save lives the volunteer fire departments in Inyo County desperately need volunteers, EMTs, especially those who have ability or permission of their employer during daytime hours. Marilyn Mann of Big Pine told a story of how important EMTs was in her life. Last Thanksgiving, my partner Mike and I were at my sister's for dinner, and as we went to leave, I noticed that Mike had turned ashen. The color had drained from his face and he started to sway. I grabbed him and my sister got a chair under him as I eased him down. He was unresponsive and in and out of consciousness. I was scared. My mind flashed back to 24 years earlier when my husband had stopped talking and dropped to the floor and was unresponsive. I remembered calling 911 and waiting for the ambulance to come. He was still unconscious when they took him away. I remember following the ambulance, crying and trying to tell myself it would be okay. I also remembered holding him later at the hospital as he died. Was this happening again? Suddenly the ambulance arrived and I looked up as a chief Damon Carrington came into the house with the rescue team. I remember Lloyd Wilson, who I have known since I was a kid, follow Damon in. I felt a tremendous sense of relief that was help was there and it was people that I knew and trusted would be taking Mike to the hospital. I also remember the sense of relief later at the hospital when Lloyd came out to let me know that Mike was doing better. Mike was released later that night and is completely fine. It is a, was a fluke medical event. I cannot tell you how much it meant to me to know that people in my community were there to help. They are not only my friends, they are my heroes. I hope my story will spark interest in the hearts of others to volunteer and learn how to be the hero to someone in the community where they live. The EMT course will run from January 22nd, 2020 to May 15th, 189 hours at the Big Pine School located at 500 South Main Street in Big Pine. Register at the Bishop Campus of Saracoso Community College or online. Also, register at the Big Pine Fire Department located at 181 North Main Street in Big Pine on Thursday, November 21st at 5 p.m. For more information or questions, call Damon Carrington, Big Pine Fire Chief at 760-937-4712 or call Saracoso College 760-872-1565. Scholarships are available on a first-come, first-served basis through Eastern Sierra Foundation. Scholarship applications are due on December 12th. We thank Charles James for that story. Well, Cami Foote, Inyo County Clerk, reminds voters that there are several offices up for election at the March 3rd, 2020 presidential primary election. Supervisor Districts 2, 4, and 5, Republican Central Committee members, Districts 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, Judge of the Superior Court 1 and 2. Declaration, declaration of candidacy forms and nomination papers began November 12th and end December 6th. The last day to file, declaration of intent, ended November 6th for judges only. The last day to file declaration of candidacy for one of the offices is December 6, 2019. For further information about running for office in Inyo County, you can view the candidate's guide for the March 3rd, 2020 primary election on the Inyo County Clerk Recorder's website at elections.inyocounty.us. If you have any questions or need additional information, please contact the Elections Department at 760-878-0224. Well, it's time to mark your calendars. The Manager and Frontline Customer Service Workshops with Leadership, November 19th and 20th at the Weston Conference Room 50 Hillside Drive, Mammoth Lakes. As part of the Peak Performance Program, speaker series, the Mammoth Lakes Chamber is hosting Justin Patton. Patton is an international speaker and executive coach who believes everything meaningful 
happens through conversation. His experience has allowed him to coach leaders in some of the top Fortune 500 organizations. Justin's high energy style will keep you engaged and his message will challenge you to communicate and lead more effectively. This luncheon is open to all supervisors, managers, business owners, and leaders. Please RSVP to save your spot. This workshop includes lunch, refreshments, and Justin's book, Bold New You. Doors open at 11.30 a.m., $30 for chamber members, non-members are just $40. Members Management Training Luncheon with Justin Patton, November 19th, 12 to 2 p.m. Justin is also offering two free frontline customer service workshops on November 19th from 4 to 6 p.m. and November 20th from 9 to 11 a.m. for all frontline and customer service staff. Well, the Town Council and members of the Recreation Commission in Mammoth Lakes celebrated the completion of the Community Center Rehabilitation Project at a ribbon-cutting ceremony November 6th. The Parks and Recreation Department is so proud of this makeover and excited to showcase this valued recreation amenity to our many community user groups and program participants, stated Stuart Brown, Parks and Recreation Director. We are already seeing increased rentals for the facility and we just reintroduced a gymnastics program that is already sold out for the first session. People love it. The project began just over 13 months ago and was completed in November at a cost of $117,685. The project was segmented into two phases based primarily on the seasons and availability of both contractors and volunteers. Phase one encompassed interior renovations during winter Phase two began in summer fall after town council awarded a contract to Enright Construction for $55,000 to complete the project. Parks and Recreation would like to recognize and acknowledge town council for their commitment to enhance our valued recreation amenities and the Recreation Commission for their continued advocacy for community recreation, stated Stuart Brown, Parks and Recreation Director. The town would like to thank the many volunteers, organizations, and staff members for their valuable contributions to the project. This project clearly demonstrates the community's commitment to building a stronger, healthier, and happier community through valued recreation amenities and facilities. Reservations for the newly renovated community center can be made by contacting the Parks and Recreation Department, 760-965-3690. The complete story, including the listing of volunteers and organizations that made this happen can be found at our website SierraWave.net. We will be back with weather and some historic footage from the Slim Princess and Borax Wagons.